Well, you can tell by the thumbnail, I got another printer. Let's open it up, check it out. All right, before we get the box open up, first things first, big shout out. Thank you, Creality, um, for continuing to support my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate that you like what I do and what I post, not only on YouTube, but my social media and stuff. But uh, thank you for letting me have the opportunity to take a look at the new Ender 3 V3 right there. Um, I'm actually really excited for this one. Uh, I've got a couple of Ender printers and uh, I like them. This one here, it's more of a little high speed version. So I'm really excited for this because from what I understand, there's no wheel leveling. So I'm very curious about that because I do a lot of leveling on printers and the manual leveling. And I do that to ensure that I always have the best possible print that I can. So if this is like takes that equation out, then that's huge, which I, I think the K1 actually has that feature as well. And I also think that this is using some of the K1 technology. So they also sent me some of their hyper series uh, filament i've never used this before so i'm really curious about that and so yeah let's uh let's get this thing. you know what yeah i'm gonna do a time lapse let me get it out of the box boom there we have it Check this out. Look at this thing. This thing is wicked cool. Uh, it, it's a very, very small footprint. It's it's just a beautiful piece so far. Uh, I'm actually glad we actually have the uh, magnetic textured plates. I think that's a great addition. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very small footprint. Uh, let's see. That's for the that's for the actual touch screen right there. The one thing I really wanted to check out first was uh, the actual frame here. Let me get this piece of foam out right here. Uh, very, very well done. And, oh, that's neat. So there's no, there's no uh, screws. It's, it's all a belt system. Check that out. That's, that's cool. Oh, wow. That's, oh, that's, that's pretty legit right there. That is so smooth. Very well done. I love the gray. I love the coloring. We got our two uh, stepper motors right there, which are nice. Got our run out sensor. Uh, so yeah, there are some things that I'm very curious about. Um, we actually have, uh, I'm not sure what that is, I'm about to do some reading. We got the actual spool holder right there. Got some, uh, yeah, some filaments. <laughs> this should be the accessories. Oh, that's a nice touch. Got a nozzle cleaner. That is, that is a sweet touch right there. Got some zip ties. Got some screws. Oh, this is different. Got some uh, metal grease. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Got the old USB stick. Got our tool set, Allen wrenches. Uh, I'm actually, the one thing I'm actually surprised about is I'm not seeing a extra nozzle. A lot of times, you know, you always get an extra nozzle. Um, so I'm, that's that's pretty interesting. Got our snips right there. I got plenty of these, so we'll leave those there for now. Uh, so yeah, got some. We got some good stuff. I definitely will be using some screws. This right here, to be honest with you, it's the little things. The little things right there. <laughs> that's just so cool. I mean, yeah. This right here is going to be our T 
touch screen. Very well done. Looks great as always. <sighs> well, yeah, I think it's time to put this thing together. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, everybody, we're back. I got it put together and uh, I've already got it fired up. Uh, I've went through, so there's an initial setup uh, that, you, that you go through. And I made a cardinal mistake. Um, I don't know why I didn't even think about it, but so when you get a printer from, from the factory, it is set for overseas power. And I'm so used to seeing the switch on the back of the printer. This one is actually where the gantry goes in on the left side. So I didn't notice it. And so when I was going through the self-test, it would get through the uh, first part of it. Then it would, it would quit and reboot. So I hopped online real quick, done some research. And sure enough, that was the problem. I took the gantry off. There it was, I flipped it over to uh, US voltage and boom, it went through that 15 minute process. It goes through and double checks everything. Uh, went ahead and loaded the filament, got it all situated. I will say something uh, with this particular uh, filament or this printer, it comes with this, this guide and this is pretty cool. So basically when you snap it on, it, it keeps the filament from hopping over the spool i mean that's that's pretty that's pretty ingenious i'm 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 digging that a lot um i have seen some things that uh, i'm not a hundred percent you know completely sold on yet but we'll talk about that later but uh we need to print something so there's some files that are preloaded benches and stuff like that uh we're probably going to do there's like there's like a little cube um sort of like a calibration cube. We'll do that one. Uh, I'll do a time lapse on that. Then we'll come back. I'll show you that. And if anything else I print, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the Ender 3 V3. So let's go to the time lapse. All right, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the time lapse, and here's what we printed. Um, I like this little cube because it actually, you know, you've got the letters, it's got solid surface angles, uh, little spirals right there, some uh, more spirals, there's different angles. Uh, so this took approximately 15 minutes to print. Um, I haven't changed any of the print settings or anything like that out of the box. It's printed at 100%. Uh, the PLA did great. Um, I'm not seeing, I know you won't be able to see it with the camera, but the texture on it is great. There, there's no stringing. So this uh, Hyper Series uh, filament, very, very good. Uh, the only adjustment I made is I printed it at 205. But let's talk about the printer. First and foremost, um, the things that I have found that maybe could have been uh, rethought, uh, or they're not game changers by any means. So the home position of this printer is all the way up and over like that, okay? Well, you got your filament tube, so it pulls out your filament. So once it actually comes back down, 
and comes over and starts homing, you have some extra filament down here. Let me slide this over. So you have extra filament, which this, this guide helps. However, you sort of got to wind it back up a little bit. So maybe have the run out sensor and stuff maybe up to the top. I don't know. It's that's, that's probably the, the most strange thing I found so far. Um, the, the auto leveling on this thing is insane, uh, and insane in a good way. Uh, as I said earlier, there's no wheels, so there's no manual leveling. It took, I'd say it probably took at least five plus minutes for this thing to level. And I'm not saying that's a, again, not a bad thing, but with, considering you can't do any manual leveling, it, did, it didn't just go around and do like boom, 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 boom in a square. No, it actually went across this bed so many different ways. It went all the way around by the rows. It went diagonals. It went middle. went all the way to the back. It went, I mean, I sat there and watched it. And I was like, wow, well, this thing, is it ever going to quit, you know, homing? <laughs> so... That was that was very strange to me, but uh, it did a great job. Um, it, it stuck to this textured plate really great. Uh, it printed fast. Uh, I think this thing is up to 500 millimeters uh, per second. Uh, I do believe uh, by default. I think it's 300. The uh, the print the the actual filament. Uh, I think it's actually on the roll. But it actually, uh, I think it's like 300 millimeters a second. I think that's what it is. Printing speed, 30 to 600. So, uh, I said it printed great. This belt system that it uses, it's very, very quiet. Um, it, it's, it's weird to see a bed slinger moving this quick. Uh, that's very, very unusual. And... I, I think it's great uh, as far as an Ender 3 goes. Use, utilizing the the uh, technology that's with the K1, I think is great. Uh, this thing has a very small footprint. The build volume is 220 by 220. Um, another thing I noticed on the uh, this plate is it actually has this little uh, nozzle track right here. So when it when it does its its bleed or its purge to get ready, it follows that line very well and uh, goes all the way down, all the way back up, which is great. Touchscreen is awesome. All the test files are loaded on the uh, uh, the actual device, so they're also here on the uh, USB drive. But you don't have to go through there. You can. Uh, I was using the Creality Print software to, uh, to to do things with it. It's Wi-Fi connected to the network. You can send uh, send things to it, which is great. Uh, it has a history uh, which of your printing. So when you go in to print something, you can do it locally. What's stored? You can do USB or you can do history uh, or network. But the history is really cool. I like the fact that it shows you your history. But I highly, I mean, this is under 400 bucks. Uh, I, I want to say it's like 380, uh, 389, something like that. Um, very small footprint. Doesn't take up a lot of space. It has some, it's very well built. The design is good. When I compare it to my other Ender 3, which there's nothing wrong with it, I personally like this belt system. Uh, that's That's very interesting to me. It's, you know, I haven't put it through like a series of bashing. I'm actually going to put it over there on my bench with my other Creality's, and I'm going to start putting it through its paces. And uh, we may do uh, another video a few months down the road. My my thoughts after really going through a couple of rows ro uh, rolls of the filament. So at this point, I recommend it. At this point, uh, I have not seen anything out of the box that would give me hesitation. So from that perspective, I like it. It's it's clean, it's sleek, it's unique. 
easy touch pad. Again, the only issue that I have is with the filament. Now, what would be nice is, and I'm sure somebody out there either already has done it or they will do it. They'll make some uh, things that you can print and put on here to maybe move the runout sensor up to the top and then put a spool holder at the top so you come down into this direct feed, which I'm a big fan of direct feed. I think that's really, really uh, uh, a good thing. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's it for the video. Once again, big shout out. Thank you, Creality, for uh, sending me the printer. Uh, again, much appreciated. Uh, I really value your support, and I'm very thankful for uh, our partnership and everything. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for the filament. I'll definitely leave links and everything to the printer and to the filament and everything in the description. So definitely check that out. And to do that, make sure you click on more. It'll expand and boom, there's all the, the descriptions and everything. If you want to find my social media, that's there uh, also. If this is your first time on my channel, if you enjoy what I do, do me a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, though, make sure to turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop more videos on 3D printing or toy hunting or cosplay or anything else. Uh, that, that would mean a lot to me. Uh, again, I love, I love comments and everything. I love interacting with people that watch my videos. And finally, please, always remember... 3D printing refreshes your soul, and I'll see you next time.